Hello, Hello Floss, Floss Tube. Tube. Week three. We're, We're back. back. I'm Priscilla. I'm Chelsea. She choreographed that. <laughs> I didn't. It was all her idea. <laughs> This whole thing is her idea, so don't, you can't believe her. And on the count of three, we're going to do jazz hands. <laughs> anyway, we're here to talk to you about what we stitched this week. So we just first of all want to say thank you very much for all the wonderful comments. We've read them all and enjoyed every single one of them. And we're sorry that we can't answer them all, but we will answer your questions here. We do need some time to stitch. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much though we, we, for such a warm welcome. It's been great and it's so nice to know that so many of you have read my blog for years and it just makes me happy that somebody is reading it. <laughs> Not just besides her. Yeah. Right. I send her edits all the time after she posts it. Yeah. Um, okay, so this week... Um, questions. Gonna, oh, questions, sorry. Um, Little House Needleworks Stitch Along on Facebook. They wanted to know where that is. So if you go to the Little House Needleworks and Country Cottage group, group um, it's on an, Facebook. It's an autumn sale started, we think, by Vanna. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Um, but you post in there and um, it starts September 1st. So if you go to that page, there's a recommended bubble right when you go to that page and that'll take you to the page for the stitch along. Um, Priscilla, where do you get your sheet metal and how do you cut it? At the hardware store and I use tin snips? Yes, scissory tin snips. We've already recorded this video three times. The first time it didn't record but a part of it. The second time we messed up and we've said scissory tin snips is yep. what they are. So go to your hardware store, find a nice gentleman or woman in there and ask them for scissory tin snips. Um, what kind of threads do you use? I use DMC, I use Classic Colorworks, General Arts, Weeks, all of them. Just no silk or Krennic. Krennic or any of those kind of special threads, but mostly what what the charts call for. I do like to change colors a lot, so, or if it's just DMC, I'll sometimes switch out for the, the hand-dyed floss, so I do like to use a lot of the hand-dyed flosses. I do too. The variegation in it makes things pop on the projects. Like I'm stitching my Hawk Run Hollow right now and it's all in DMC and it's, I think I'm going to switch some up. Um, where do you start your projects? On the top left corner. I don't start in the middle. If the top left corner is too scattered around then I will go to the bottom but then it would be the bottom left so. We stitch in hand so it's easier for us if we start in the top left because then we're not putting our hands all over our threads after we've already stitched it. So it's easier for us to start in the top left. If stuff is too far apart um, in there, we'll start at the bottom though. I learned that way from her. So, oh, how you learn. Um, and then Farm Girl asks how we keep our stitching clean. We don't really notice that it gets dirty. Most of the things that I stitch are seasonal, so they're out for a couple months and then they get put in a drawer or put in a cabinet. So they're not usually out all year but I do have some pieces that I stitched like in the 80s that are out all the time and you know you just dust them off a little bit and they're fine but I think that the only problem that I would have is if it was like in the cooking area of my kitchen and it might get a little bit greasy and then dust would stick to it but yeah I don't really notice any problems and we just, had just go for it because you can't yeah. you can't finish the stuff like we do if you have glass on it so this is our stuff um, I showed a piece from 1984 in the last video, I believe, a save a stitch, and it didn't have glass on it, and it wasn't dirty at all. So, I mean, there's different ways to finish them. We haven't seen a problem with any dust or right or dirt or, or dirt so. anything. Um, next up, finishes for this week. What do you got? Oh, I don't have any finishes this week, <laughs> but I'm going to show you a couple old ones. So, I love Prairie Schooler. Love Prairie Schooler. And this is the August, and I use this frame to, I've done February, or I might have done January too, February through August. I still have September, October, November, and December, which November. The first video she tried lying to you and saying that she did all the months, and then she was like, except for September, October, October November, November, and December has started, <laughs> but I Again, um, this is interchangeable, so she's got sheet magnets on, or sheet metal and magnets on here. Right, so I can just stick the next month on there, and it, it's a frame from Michael's, and it just works great. I put burlap in the back. And then the other piece that I wanted to show you today is 
Summer Breeze from Prairie Schooler. I did the little chart last week, and this is how the the big chart is. It's this tray I got at Hobby Lobby, and it was red. It was in the Christmas section, and I spray painted it. First of all, it was black because I did it for a Halloween piece, and then I decided I was going to use it year-round and switch it out. And so then I spray painted it cream, and there's beads on the bottom, and those got spray painted too, and there's magnets on the back of the piece, and it just sticks to the tray because it's metal. And I change out the bow with the different seasons, and it just hangs in my kitchen. I really like that one. You're finished. Am I finished? Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I finished Country Cottage Needleworks, right? Mm -hmm. Seasonal Celebrations Autumn. She left off the bottom. I leave off the words. This is the one that I was talking about in the last video that hangs on my china cabinet. Um, so now this is on magnets and sheet metal and I can switch it out for the different seasons. So I did a, a big piece in the back with burlap on it and then I did a smaller backing with the plaid and that it comes off and goes back on. And I just stuck these picks of leaves in there so she can just change them, put a burlap bow. It's cute. Easy to change out the seasons, so we don't have to make a new finish for everything if you've got something like that that's interchangeable. Farm Fresh. Farm Fresh. It's right there under the wreath. Thank you. Whew. Okay, so um, this was one of my first pieces that I did. I wanted to do uh, Farm Fresh by the Prairie Schooler. I didn't like how they were rounded at the bottom, though. So we changed it up a little bit. She made them square. I squared them off. We got this frame at Michael's. Michaels. And I used gingham to, uh, and ripped it and ruffled it for the backing of them. And they're oops, attached with the clothespins. Or did we put magnets? We put them? magnets on them because there's, there's magnets behind it too. Too. So the, the, These are decorative. Yeah. The clothespins are decorative. But there's chicken wire in the back and it hangs in our hallway. It's very cute. I didn't do the bunny because I wanted this to hang up all year round. Um, again, I've got the kind of country theme at home, modern farmhousey kind of theme. That's okay. my finishes. So now for whips. Whip, whip. Watch me, Nana. Watch me stitch it. I can show you the colors that are going to be used for the autumn chalk for the home, but I can't show you the stitching. So there we go. It's really pretty. So that's taken up most of my time this, well, since Wednesday. And I did start Pumpkins for Sale from Little House Needleworks after our video last week, and it's going very quickly. I am changing some colors, so if you want to know what colors I'm using, you can look on my Instagram. I have shown what I'm using. Somebody also commented that we go very fast in these videos, so I'm going to make more of an effort to pump up our descriptions in the box below. Usually when we get done with these videos, I'm like, let's just put it up. But all, all, every time there's a finish, it goes on my blog. So you can always read more about each finish on my blog. So mm -hmm. I did get a little bit more done on Kringle and Willard. I have almost his whole suit done. And I'll hopefully get this finished in the next week or two. And you stitch him on Sundays, right? Yeah. Sundays I stitch Christmas. Santa and Sundays. I was stitching Halloween or something last Sunday. And she's like, what are you doing? It's Santa Sunday. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> you grounded. <laughs> All right. So I only got a little bit done on this. This is Christmas rules. Again, she's stitching it vertically like the pattern shows. You did switch up some of the floss? Yeah, I am switching up some of the floss, but like I said, that it shows on my Instagram or it will show on my blog when it's finished. All yes. the colors. My way. And that's it for my. That She's I can trying show you. to stitch um, her project. All right, so in the first video, I said that I was going to start Hawk Run Hollow, and since then, I've just been too nervous. It was going to be my biggest project, project so far, but I decided to just. Go for it. All right. So the farms of Hakran Hollow. Um, on the back of this though was another version of how it could be stitched, and I decided to go for this. It's going to be hanging up over my door, going out to my sun porch, and I just thought that that would fit better. Uh, so I've got the first 
The chart is like a chapter book. It is. It's so <laughs> scary. Um, this is one. I might change out some of the threads to make them variegated. My next one that I'm really excited to be stitching is out of the Just Cross Stitch Halloween 2016 Special Collector's Edition. Mm. Um, and... Oh, did I lose my bookmark? Sorry. Oop, oop. I'll find it for you. You can show me. Thank you. Um, it's my mom's design. With hands on design. With hands on design. The collaboration. Um, this is on a hand dyed by Stephanie slate 28 count even weave Monaco. And this is what it'll look like. So this is the seasons that we were talking about in our previous video. This is what she drew, and then Kathy converted it to a chart. Totally awesome. It is harder to stitch on the darker material. Lots of bad words. <laughs> um, yesterday for World Cross Stitch Day, I decided to start some Christmas. Uh, so I'm doing Santa's Village. This is fun to stitch. A lot of fun, actually. This one is going to be a biggie though. So I'm stitching them all together. Yep. And somebody asked what we do with our fabric, you know, how we finish it off. We it don't. Doesn't, it doesn't unravel that much. It's it fine. doesn't, no. And we don't. We yeah. just cut it off. If We leave enough room at the end that if a piece is straggling, we can cut it off. If it's you stitch no. it fast enough, you don't notice that the stuff is falling out. <laughs> just, um, <laughs> that's all my whips, so I didn't have too many. This week, I was just trying to get done on this hawk run, and I was going real slow. I had to do a well, lot of you did finish, this week. You finished that autumn. That was I did. You did most of that. This yeah, that week. was halfway done. So you weren't such a slacker. Not all the way. But okay. So what are you going on to? We're doing haul, aren't we? Haul. I got two charts, both of them from we Country Cottage Nina Works. Black Cat Citrier. But that didn't come from there. That came from Etsy. Oh, this came from Etsy. And you saw this on Jen's stitching niche. 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 This is this will go well with her bees and sunflowers theme. Uh, I don't know a that it'll. Sampler. I don't know that it'll get done this year, but you tell me you won't have bees and sunflowers next year. Yeah, I will, but See? it probably won't get stitched till next year. And then this be thankful. I found it. Our. LNS, the Black Hat Stitchery. So, this was up on the wall and it looked really pretty. So she got that. She usually doesn't go for Thanksgiving stitches. But I'll probably change the words because by Thanksgiving, my Christmas is up in the house. Just wait till <laughs> we get there. That'll be. Ugh. Okay. Um, again, two of these don't count. She said back up the semi. Mm hmm. Nope. Um, no, not a semi this time. Maybe just a trailer. Just a trailer word. The two of these were from my beach cottage. They were out of stock, so she mailed them separately. This is Praiseworthy Stitches, Mummy's Moonlight Cafe. The picture doesn't do this justice, I don't think. It looks very 90s in this picture. But I think it's really cute. And That's we're going to maybe try some dyeing of fabric to make it cute. Cute. It uses so much floss, though. Huge. I'm addicted to huge projects lately. Uh, cinnamon stars. So I was looking through my mom's cabinets and saw cinnamon stars and I had to have it. So I ordered it and here it is. Plum Street Samplers, cinnamon stars. Then at the um, needle workshop I got heart and hand. It's cute too. I'm sorry, Halloween night. A small one for me to stitch up real quick. Plum Street Samplers, another one, Jack's Bash. I'm a big Disney fan. I got married there last year, and this re really reminds me of, like, Haunted Mansion type thing. This one, I was asking her why it had, like, an actual picture on it. She said it must be an older one. This is Stacy Nash Primitive's House on Pumpkin Hill. I think it's really cute. Another quick one. Um, Gathering Honey by Plum Street Samplers. I'm a Plum Street. Yeah, you've been buying a lot of those. 
and they're all huge. Um, this one though. Okay, so look at this lady right here. She's got a chicken on a leash. <laughs> Had to have it. Chicken on a leash. I'm gonna go home and put my chickens on leashes. Um, okay, and then you saw this. Yeah. I don't know if it was that one or one of the other months, but or seasons, I mean. Seasons. Um, also on Jen's stitching niche. 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 <laughs> <laughs> With my needle and thread um, sampler of the season. So this is the autumn one. This is one that our LNS had in stock. We haven't looked to see we if the other We both want to stitch all four, so. Yeah. We haven't looked to see if any of the other seasons are We just are need more time to, to stitch. We do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do. We need maids and assistants. <laughs> <laughs> and a cook. Cooking is most of my day. And I think somebody to do the laundry. Laundry would be nice. Although you did have that. You had an excuse this week because your washer broke. So, mm -hmm. um, That's all. <gasps> oh, save the stitches. We, we went to a couple of church rummage sales this week. That's probably why we didn't get a lot of stitching done either because we were... We were fighting people over the good stuff. Yeah. It was, we were just scavengers. So anyway, this was a quarter. It's so cute. I can put it in one of my tiered trays at Halloween and it'll be great. I don't know if I said it in this video or not, but excuse my hands being dirty. I'm a gardener. I was ripping out weeds and I don't use gloves. Where's the big one? Oh, the big one. I got it? this at the Goodwill a few months ago, and it's a Glendon Place chart. You can still get it. It was $4.99. It's professionally framed with good glass. It's amazing. It's yeah. got the buttons in it. It's, it's done beautifully. So he'll go out with my fall decor. He's really, really cute. So It makes us so sad. $4.99 for this. And I reached in front of some lady to grab him, and I banged my head on the shelf. So... <laughs> Four nine nine and a lot of heartache. Okay. Oh. A lot of headache. <laughs> um, in good thrifting fashion, never leave any DMC at the thrift store. She got uh, a lot. A lot. So I put my nine-year-old to work this week to help me organize all of my floss that I got at Thrift Two stores. thrift stores. We, we went Saturday after our the video where she had gotten a bunch already, and they had four bags of it, all in floss away bags, like two and three skeins per bag, and it's amazing. So now she's got a lot of floss. Twenty five. So the next DMC score is mine. We'll see about that. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> she thinks I have full set, but I don't because yesterday I needed 470 and I didn't have it, so I had to go to. It was so embarrassing. Like I have all of this, and I had to go to Walmart to buy one because I wanted to use the exact color. That's just me. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about it. You asked me what I use. I use thrift store floss to stitch my projects. Yeah, who cares? I was sniffing it in the store to make sure it didn't smell, and it smells nice. Got a little. Oh, okay. And then we are, Chelsea had showed you that she got Lantern Lane last week. And we are going to, where's yours? Oh, here, this is yours. We are both, we both have it. We're both going to start it. So if you want to join us, we're thinking September 1st. Yes. So we can have it done for Christmas. I loved my Liberty Lane. I wanted to do this one. She got it. So we're going to do like an informal stitch along on Instagram. Um, comment below or on our Instagram if you'd like to participate. I'll put up a post today about it. Um, we're not using Belsois. We're using hand-dyed cotton. So let us know if you'd like to join in again September 1st. Just an informal. I'm sure a lot thing. of you already have this chart. So just join us. It'll, It'll be, be fun. fun. And, and it's beautiful. Hopefully we'll finish it. <laughs> Next up, uh, yeah. oh, and then the, the stitch along for the fall mm -hmm. little house country cottage. I've chosen these two charts that I will probably. She had one chosen before this video started, and now she just tried to one up me by putting in another one. <laughs> Here, you want to hold it? <laughs> so I'm doing one chart because I got all this other stuff going yeah, on. Yeah, well, I do too, so. <laughs> I just haven't decided which one. 
So she's, oh, are you doing one or the other? I thought you were doing both. Okay, no. so I'm doing Little House uh, Pumpkin Hollow Farms. That's really cute. In your face, sorry. And then she is going to choose one of these. So we didn't show this one. This is also part of her haul. Um, two white houses, Little House Needleworks or the pumpkins, be thankful. You should just start a vote and people can vote on which one you should do. Yeah, well they told me to do that other one last week, the pumpkins, instead of the little. So she started it. Mm -hmm. um, so we again just want to say thank you so much. We love and appreciate all of your comments. We both read them. If you'll see like a like and a heart, that's each one of us. We share a YouTube account. Uh, my husband reads them, my kids read them. They also critique our videos. <laughs> You should just sit straight. You shouldn't act, like wobble around. Oh, that's um, me. <laughs> um, so we appreciate it all. And then if you have any questions, put them in the comments below because we'll try to answer them each week uh, in the beginning of our videos so you, you have an idea of yep. what we're doing. Um, follow and us frame, on Instagram. Frame something without glass. It's not going to kill you. It's, it's good. <laughs> um, follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356. My Facebook page is Priscilla's 2000, and my blog is Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com. We'd love to see you in all of the places. So we would. All right. Come on and join us. We'll see you next week. Thank you.